So yesterday, I noticed claw marks along the dirt, and I checked the, the trail camera, and there was a groundhog in the garden. I can't really see where it did any damage. And last night, a raccoon was sniffing around, trying to dig under the fence. Actually, I just noticed there's some damage right there. There's some damage right there. So I'm going to harvest all these peppers just in case it gets back in here. So I laid out some boards along the fence line. This worked last year, so hopefully this will do the trick. I'm also setting up the little trap. It's inside the fence, so if it gets in here, hopefully it'll go in here. I've got uh, some of the chewed up peppers I put in the back. This is the year of mislabeled seeds, because I'm getting these yellow bell peppers and they're humongous. The seeds were supposed to be California Wonder, and these definitely aren't California Wonder. So I noticed the kale and collards have these little white bugs flying around. So I mix up a batch of this neem oil one and a half teaspoons in a 32 ounce spray bottle. It's July 31st. Here's that basil plant that I harvested most of it and then let it grow back and then it's turned into a big giant bush again. Check out this eggplant.
today I'm gonna clean up this bed and prep it for the tomato cuttings You can see all the roots that have developed from the tomato cutting. Gonna harvest a big old batch of Cupid grape tomatoes. I'm actually having a problem this year where I'm getting too many tomatoes. I guess it's a good problem to have though. So I came out here this morning and I saw a little bit of pepper damage right there and guess what? Got a raccoon in the trap. I'm going to release it way back in the woods. Okay, it's just a few days later. Here's what those tomato cuttings look like. 